Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to solve a problem shortest unsorted continuous subarray. So as usual, first we will understand the problem statement, then we will discuss its approach and finally we will write its Java code. So let's start the video with the problem statement. And in this problem we have given an integer array and we need to find one continuous subarray such that if we only sort this subarray in ascending order then the whole array will be sorted in ascending order right and we have to return the length of this subarray so we have to return the length of shortest such subarray right so let's take an example to understand this problem and in the first example we have given this array which is sorted in ascending order so now we have to figure out the shortest unsorted continuous subarray which we sort uh, when we sort this sub array then the whole array will be sorted in ascending order and as you can see this is the sub array which is unsorted if we sort this sub array then the whole array will be sorted in ascending order let's move to the second example and in this example the array is already sorted right so we don't have to do anything we simply return zero and in the third example also uh, in this array there is given only one element so we don't have to do anything and we have returned the output uh, the length which is zero we don't have to sort anything here right we don't have to do anything here so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can approach this problem as we have to solve this problem in o n time complexity right so let's discuss our approach in this problem we have given that the array is sorted in ascending order what it means is the smallest number is at the beginning and the largest number is at the end of the array right so one approach that immediately comes to our mind is if we find the first element from both the end i mean from from the beginning and from the end if we find the element from both the end which is out of sorting order right and then we know by sorting the sub array between these two element make the whole array sorted in ascending order to understand this let's find the elements in this array which is out of sorting order from both the ends right so starting from the beginning the first element which is a smaller than the previous element is 4 so we can consider our sub, sub array starting point from this index right similarly from the end the first element which is greater than the previous element is 10 so our sub array end index would be this one right so if we sort the sub array between this point to this point right if we sort the sub array between this point to this point it sort the complete array in ascending order and it work it works perfectly fine for this input but does it work for all the cases let me take one more example in this example the first element which is out of sorting order from the beginning is this two right and from the end it is zero so we can consider starting index for our sub array is this one and end index is this one so let me sort the sub array between starting from this element and ending with this element and after sort after sorting this sub array the element will be arranged like this minus two then zero then two then 3 then 7 and then 10 right so we have discussed one approach and now we are checking whether this approach works with this test case or not but after sorting this sub array so is this array sorted the answer is no right let's see what else we need to consider here so the smallest 
element in this sub array is minus 2 so minus 2 is the smallest element in this sub array but there exist element outside this sub array so we have considered this sub array and there exist the element outside this sub array which is greater than the mean element of the sub array so i am talking about this one right so we need to include more element from the beginning which is greater than the smallest number so for this case i mean it's it's a boundary condition right so for this case we need to consider any element from the beginning which is greater than the smallest element of this sub array so that when we sort the sub array it will make the whole array sorted in ascending order right so we have to increase our sub array boundary till this point right so we have to consider we have to uh, take care of the smallest element in this sub array so considering the smallest element in our sub array we have to include a more element in the sub array which is from the beginning which is greater than the smallest number right similarly i mean in this example uh, the case does not exist but similarly we have to find the max element in the sub array and the max element is 3 right so initially we consider this sub array so in this sub array uh, let's find the mean and max so mean is minus 2 and max is 3 so one condition I have discussed now let's discuss the second condition so we have uh, 3 is the max element in this sub array so we have to check is there any element from the end which is smaller than the max element of the sub array so that we can increase the window of our sub array accordingly right so we have handle the case case from the from the beginning of the array S the same case we have to handle from the end of the array the only difference is when we take the max from our sub array we have to check whether there exists any element outside this sub array which is smaller than the max element of the sub array right so we have to increase the sub array window accordingly and and it is important because we want to sort the array in ascending order so definitely we don't want to miss the element which is smaller and greater than the the minimum and maximum element present in this sub array in this array if we consider elements from the end then there is no element exist outside this sub array which is smaller than 3 so outside this sub array there exist only two elements 7 and 10 which is greater than 3 so there is no element outside this sub array which we have considered right and the max element is 3 so from the end we have to check any smaller element which is uh, so any element which is smaller than the max element present in this sub array right so there exists <coughs> no such element outside this sub array which is smaller than this three right now if we sort the sub array between one to minus if we sort this sub array right between one to minus two it it sort the whole array in ascending order so after sorting this sub array right so the element will be arranged minus 2 0 1 2 3 7 and 10 right and we don't have to sort this sub array this is just for understanding purpose we have to return the length and the length is 5 so we simply return the length and this is how we can approach this problem right so let's uh, let's discuss its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is big o of 1 right 
Now let's write its Java code. Let's discuss our Java code and it is pretty simple if you if you understood how we can approach this problem. Right. So initially I have declared so in the beginning I have declared two variables start and end and initialize with zero and array length minus one. Right. Then I have written a condition I have written a while loop to find the first element find the index right first element which is out of sorting order so this will run from the beginning so here what we are checking is is this 3 is greater than this one yes is 2 is greater than 3 no so this loop will break and the start index will point at this index right and this condition basically this condition is if the element is sorted in ascending order then start will point the index which is equal to the end so if both the index if the value of start and end is equal it means the array is already sorted return zero right else for this uh, i mean this is this condition will check the first element which is out of sorting order from the end so in this condition uh, we are checking is this element is a smaller than it's uh, smaller than the previous element yes so is this element is smaller than this yes is this element is smaller than this and here no so this loop will break and the end will point at this index right so initially we found the value of start index here and the value of end index at this point so we have to consider this subarray now i have already explained one more boundary condition where we have to consider few more element outside this subarray so that we can sort the complete array in ascending order like this so the minimum element in this case is minus 2 and the maximum is 3 so if we sort only this subarray then it will not sort the whole array in ascending order because one is outside this subarray and the minimum element minus 2 is present in this subarray so we have to consider this one as well for this case right so let me just scroll and let me just scroll this and so in this condition we are finding the mean and max between mean element and max element of this sub uh, this sub array in this sub array so i have declared two variable mean and max and for mean i have initialized with the integer maximum value and for max i have in initialized with the integer minimum value because we have to find here the mean and here the max so for mean i have initialized with the highest value and for max i have initialized with the minimum value and then we run a loop from this point to this point and check whether any element is smaller than the value present in mean so we in initialize i mean we assign the value in this mean variable and any element which is greater than the max we assign the value in this max variable right for example the first is 3 so 3 is smaller than the value assigned in me so initially 3 is assigned and for max we assign the same value then we comes 2 so here 2 is assigned and for 2 it skip then we pick 0 so 0 is assigned and for this we skip this condition then comes minus 2 and minus 2 is assigned so mean is minus 2 and max is 3 now this condition basically this condition check whether there exists any element which is greater than this mean element so this is for the beginning of the array and this is for the end of the array right so we check whether one is smaller than minus two yes so we decrement the value of start and now start index will point at this index and after that we came out of this loop because start is not greater than zero now it's equal to zero 
and for end we check any element is greater than max so we check is 7 is greater than max no is 10 is greater than max no right and we came out of this loop and end point so the value of end index remains same right and then we return end minus start plus 1 so in this case it is 5 so this is the java code and just let me rub it and we show the code once more right so that's it for this video tutorial and i hope you understood the approach to solve this problem and please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues and thank you thank you very much for your time